Hey guys and welcome back again. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to quickly create a short game using Python. So the game's essentially going to be really simple and basic. <clears throat> Firstly, like always, what I'm going to do is create a new folder and call it game. All the game assets will be inside. Just to let you know, the game's not going to be graphical. It's uh, going to be non-graphical. So I'm going to paste that in here. I have a blank python file which I'm going to edit using idle. Firstly what I'm going to do in the game is uh, create a comment and do all the imports. So I'm going to import system and import the time. So what random is going to do, so essentially let me explain what the game is going to be about. So the game is going to be about um, a random number that's going to be generated every time. So every time this random number is generated um, there will be two players so both the players will get a turn where they guess the number which will be generated. If their number is the same as the random number that's generated by the program, they will get a score. If their score is like 5 or we'll set a target. So for example, if they, if they meet score 5 first, they win the match and the other one loses. So that's a really quick and simple game we're going to be creating. Once we're done importing, I'm going to create the variables up here. So variables are going to be score equals zero oops, and score one equals zero. So this score will be the score for the first player and score one is going to be the score for the second player. <coughs> so once we're done with the variables, we're going to move on to creating the main program. So we're going to have to be in a loop. So we're going to say, well, one. Um, so first of all we're going to generate the random number the way we're going to generate this random number is we're going to create a new variable called number we're going to equal it to random dot rand integer um, so we're going to take a number between 1 and 5 so that the game doesn't carry on too long so this random number is going to be between the range of 1 to 5 and we're going to print the number. That's all we're doing for now. Okay, let's run the program really quickly. And as we can see, we're in a loop, so it's producing all sorts of random numbers right now. So once we have a random number, we can close that. We don't want to print it anymore. We have to print it later. So we have a random number what we need to do next is take the input from the user so we'll say guess equals input string please enter okay let's say player one so that's where the player one would input his guess about which number is going to be drawn and then we create Actually, let's just create an integer input because that will make it easier. We don't have to convert it later. The string's not going to work. So if I can take that off, let's just do an integer here. And then we'll say, if you want, I'm going to print the... Actually, I'm going to leave the number outside the loop so that it doesn't like keep producing the number again and again. So we're going to say if guess equals the number that is produced, uh, we're going to update the score. Score equals score plus one. So if the first player guesses the number right, his score is going to update to 1. I will say elif guess 1, which is the second player, equals the number. We're going to do score 1 equals score 1 plus 1. So that's how we're going to update the second player's um, score. So well, we've done the updating bit. So if these guesses are correct, it will do so and so else it will just say print none of the guesses were correct okay 
me run that really quickly and we'll see if it works. Player one, let's set it to 43. None of the guesses were correct. Two, four, one, three, one, five. Okay, so as we see here, nothing happened because the score probably has updated. What we need to do here is when, when the score does update, we need to say print, we'll print the score, player, player one, score, and we'll print the score. And then we also print player two score so that everything can be seen when it's broadcasted. So player two score is essentially just gonna change that to that. And then score will change to score one. We just copy the same statements down below here again. But instead we'll move this one up and leave this one down. Okay, so, and we also need to say what the number that was drawn was. So we need to once they've done guessing, we'll just print here as well. Oops, up here. Print. 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 Number was... Comma, the number that was generated. Okay, so let's see if that works so far. Player one, also three, and also four. So as we see here, the number that was generated was obviously three, and then the player one scored the right one, so the score updates to one. But player two is still on zero because the player two had guessed four. So we do three again, and we'll do one now. Um, actually, I might have messed up on the number, so we're gonna move, because it's staying the same due to it not being inside the loop. My bad. So we're going to paste it in there and we'll try now. Hopefully that works. So 3, 1. The number was 3. Okay, so let's go 4 this time. Uh, let's go 3 here. And the number was 4 this time. So as we see, the draw is changing randomly. We'll put 0 this time and we'll put 2 here. The number was 1. None of the guesses were correct. Okay, so we'll go 3, 1. And as we see, the draw was one player, two has updated to two. So now the game's logically working. What we need to do next is set a target score. So we'll say target, go to the variable and say target equals, hmm. for now we're just going to keep it to two. So if you score two, you're going to win the game. So we say, um, just in here. create a new if condition we'll say if uh, score equals target then we'll print um, we'll print player one has won the game And then we'll do a system.exit, which will help us get out of the loop and just stop the program completely. Okay, and then we'll say elif score equal score one actually equals target. Then we'll print, do the same thing, but we'll just say player two has won the game. So as, as you see, it's a pretty basic program. Um, we're just using variables, loops, and we're just updating the variables as we go and the random, obviously. So if I run the program again, the game is essentially ready for now. And we'll check if it works. One, three. So the number was one. I just need to get another score on that. Um, one, four. Okay, so both the players are on number one. Five. The number was two. Oh my god, are you joking? This is actually tough to test now because it keeps giving me random numbers. Okay, there we go. 
Finally, player 2 has won the game. Because player 2 has scored target of 2 and player 1 has scored 1. So player 2 essentially wins and the game ends. That's all for today's tutorial guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you've liked this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe and comment below. As you know, I'm trying to reach a target of 1000 subscribers. So make sure to help me out. So till the next one, peace out.